So, welcome to uh, the uh, Faraday Cage build video with Chuck and Kevin from uh, the Prepping Badass podcast. So, anyway, when you have fancy stuff like solar battery chargers, fancy uh, survival weather radios, things like that, you want to protect them. And you're worried about an EMP pulse. You hear about this thing's going to happen. It's going to be the end of the world. Your stuff's going to go away. It's not going to work. So what do we do? We get a Faraday cage that's going to protect it. So how do we take care of this stuff? Basically, we're going to have to build one. Aren't we're we? going to build one. So first thing you're going to need, the mighty trash can. Check it out. Went over to uh, Lowe's, about 15 bucks. Buy something like this. I went with the small one because it fits on the table. We got a big one over here, Kevin. All right, like that. You want to get hardcore? Fancy. Follow Kevin. So, next thing the way a Faraday cage works is when electrical pulses, transmissions, frequencies hit it, they're going to stay on the outside as long as this is completely sealed. So, hence the lid it's going to keep the waves on the outside now if you want to get hardcore you're worried you don't want to have any problems for the end of the world they sell that foil tape you're going to seal it up all around the edges and you're going to make sure that no nothing's going to get through the problem is when this pulse comes and hits it anything touching the metal is going to get fried so we got to come up with a solution for that and what i did is I came up with the truck with the paper bag. So there you go. Kevin has a better solution. He took cardboard, lined the inside. Note the uh, the duct tape with the mustaches on it. Pimp mustache duct tape. You guys, it's ready. So I then went one step further and I bought static. Uh, electric bags these are meant for uh protecting your electronic devices making sure they don't get shorted from static electricity that kind of thing so you're going to take your fancy items you want to protect you throw them inside now the cool thing you want to get those uh silica gel uh what are they like desiccant uh packets mm -hmm. Because turns out moisture is going to build up in here if you don't take care of things. Throw one of those in there. Get the air out. Again, trying to prevent moisture buildup. Mine, these bags, they come with a Ziploc seal. That's pretty sweet. One more layer of protection. I'm going to fold it up. Stick it inside my two layers of insulation the bag and then the inner bag close this with a tight seal i'm going to wrap it with foil tape around the edges i didn't bring any because i keep cutting it off and burning through it and that stuff's expensive so but even just like this we can take my cell phone or kevin's cell phone that's already there let's check it out here now if i call kevin's cell phone is it going to ring maybe i mean when it's out Yep, that should ring. Should ring. Kevin, let's check it out. Give uh, Kevin's phone a call. Oh. oh, it's ringing. Now, we're going to throw it inside the Faraday cage. Now we're going to give him a call again. It's ringing. Take it out. Take it out. We'll put it in foil. So, idea is, I tested this the work. other night and it worked out good. But you know what? I had it in the bag. Oh, okay. Throw it in the bag. Really, the deal is, I need foil tape, and I don't have so. foil tape. But you think uh, it'll work in this one? It'll, it'll work in yours. Yep. All right. Let's try mine one more time. All right. And then we'll try yours. And here we go. 
But that's the thing. You want to check it out. Make sure the end of the world, your stuff doesn't get fried. Because if your cell phone uh, is getting through, it's going to be a problem. You can't have his phone number on the... You can have my phone number on there. Yeah? Feeling bad? Jake's Feeling blue? Calling. Call me up. I'll straighten you out. Oh. Please leave your for Went right to voicemail. Right to voicemail. So we're good. Let's see if Kevin's is any better. But again, the idea, you want to find any holes, anything in the, uh, throw it in the box. Anywhere there's an opening, any rivets, anything like that, you're going to cover it with foil tape. You ready for the big test? Yeah, but I won't be able to get the phone back out when we're done. <laughs> nice. Sounds good. I think you passed. Now, earlier I uh, wrapped it up in one sheet of aluminum foil. Okay. So why don't we give that a try here. Let's do it. And uh, see what happens. And again, if you're super paranoid, now this you're going to tape over the outer, yeah. outer edge. This is in uh, just wrapped in, in wax paper and a Ziploc bag. All right. That's all that we're starting out with. It's just to prevent a barrier, keep a barrier from the phone and the, uh, the foil itself. All right. Give it a call and let's see what happens. Right there, smell. Uh -huh. Sounds good. So I like that. Now, what you want to do, you can use any solid metal as long as it's completely sealed, you know, rolled metal on the edges. So you can use a cookie tin, those old, uh, what, those old Charles Chips cans, you know, whatever, the big popcorn tins, anything like that. You just, any questionable edge, you want to make sure you cover with the foil tape and you have to insulate it on the inside. Now you can use balled up paper. You want it, anything that's going to keep it. I got it. missed calls. Oh. No, I'm kidding. Ah, this guy, <laughs> jagaz. So anyway, anything like that, you foil up any of the openings and you're good to go. Faraday cage, that's the answer. Get to the bottom of it, all right? Um, anything, you have any questions, concerns, you can email us at preppingbadass at gmail.com. Otherwise, subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.